Today, we're going to talk about scamming people and scam websites, scam Facebook pages, and trolls, corporate trolls. We're not just talking about political trolls, but simply trolls. Okay, so I discovered or I saw this ad um, a few days ago. I'm just going to show you something here. This ad about Marshall, all right, this Marshall um, headset. Marshall is quite a very expensive uh, gadget. Uh, they specialize in headsets, earpods, etc. Or earpod, or what do you call this? Earplugs, devices. And I saw this, this actual picture a few days ago and just ignored. And it came from this Rye and David, David account. And we're going to talk about this later. Okay, so um, it's like it's being boosted, it's being promoted. It just popped up on my account, on my Facebook feed. And uh, notice that there are two. Rye and David accounts. This one uh, has 14,000 followers and the other has um, 46 followers. All right, so I think we're gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I saw. So uh, I saw this and it's being promoted. It has the promoted, promoted tagging or labeling on this part. And then um, it says, horrible scene at Mall of Asia. Yesterday when hearing that the Marshall has opened, the Marshall, I mean, the, the grammar, the grammar, thing all right sentence construction everything is suspicious and uh we're simply gonna start with this because there are a lot of things that we're gonna talk about here about uh scammers how they scam people how they use facebook a combination of facebook and websites all right and trolls to fool the gullible people or the public all right into giving them their money so this is an elaborate elaborate scam tactic all right that many people don't know about and many people you know fall prey to and fell prey to for the reason that this scamming tactic is quite sophisticated you need to have a lot of capital a lot of money and uh, technical know-how to come up with this kind of elaborate scam so I'm just gonna start with that so so basically as you can see here I just discovered it a few minutes ago when I was searching Ryan David because I thought it was a real account so notice that when I search Ryan and David because I was using my cell phone earlier, and then um, I had to search the name because I couldn't find it on my cell phone anymore. So uh, Ryan David, it came up with this. So I search, I used this Ryan David Marshall horrible scene, blah, 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 because of uh, basically the post. So it came up with these two results, pages, Ryan David, digital creator. They basically copied the Ryan David's original in real account. And... Digital creator, it says digital creator, but this one has 14,000 followers. So we're going to go with, you know, the one with the most number of followers if we are to ascertain the authenticity of an account, right? So always go with, you know, the number of followers, etc. So because anyone can copy or mimic other people's accounts or pages, right? So let's click on this. Re I assume this is a real account because of the fact that it's it has 1,000 100 likes, 14,000 followers. It has the YouTube channel, um, rising creator, etc. And the the you know the posts are real, all right, real. So I'm sorry if you know if I had to talk about I have to talk about this 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 account, the two people in this account. Okay, I just I you know I accidentally click a link, and then I you know I give them the benefit of the doubt that they did not. Who is in his right mind to create his own dummy account or fake account, right? So, and this is the fake account. So, um, 50 likes, 46 followers, etc. So, just compare. They basically copied everything. The, what do you call this? The background, or is it the background? Uh, reviews, the photos here are totally different from the fake account. So, the fake account basically, specifically shows photos of Marshall, you know, devices in, and the people, etc. And we don't even know if these photos are actually real. I mean, real in terms of the fact that they are really queuing for Marshall or, you know, they, it just so happened that these people are in front of the Marshall shop, but, you know, it was for a different event. So we don't know. All right, we're going to check on that later. But, okay, so yeah, we established the fact that this is commerce. We don't know who's behind this scam yet, but we were able to establish the fact that they're using their, we don't know if they're, you know, they just mimicked or created a dummy account out of a real account. And the real account is David and Rye. 
we don't know if there are other accounts created, right, to mimic the accounts of, of you know, um, digital creators. So basically, they're playing safe here because this David and Rye account, the real account, has just 14,000 followers. So uh, the tactic is that they're not really going for the jugular here. They're not following uh, people like the big, you know, the big digital creators in this country, Philippines, right? They're not, they're not creating an account of Vice Ganda, for example, fake accounts of Tony Gonzaga or Tony Fowler, right? Who have millions of followers. They're not that stupid to do that yet. So they're simply creating fake accounts of, you know, people with moderate or modest followers, like 14,000 followers. So it won't be, you know, somehow. Um, so, hindi siya create ng chaos for them. So that's what I simply mean. So, all right. Um, ito yung real account. The other is the fake account. And and it shows here, horrible scene at SM Mall of Asia yesterday when hearing that Marshall just opened the first store at SM Mall of Asia. Because really, I mean, this was posted on September 30. And if we're going to try to Google store opened at Mall of Asia. So let's see if it actually opened uh, on the 29th of September because, you know, the fake account posted that post on September 30th. And no, it, you know, the Marshall, the Marshall store, is there even a Marshall store at SM Mall of Asia? I don't think so. I mean, let's see. And if there is a Marshall store at SM Mall of Asia, I don't think it opened just recently, right? So, yeah, I mean, this is quite dubious as well and shady. So, um, Marshall store. Okay, uh, yeah, that's one thing. And let's go back to the post, shall we? Okay, so, um, and they're having a big discount for the Marshall Willen with only 1,399 pesos. Original price is 6,995. I mean, I saw that yesterday, and it was like 9,000 instead of 6,995. Many people jostled and pushed to hunt for sales, and some people fainted because of the stuffy air. To avoid, I mean, they're, they're creating an illusion for, you know, netizens and uh, Facebook users who would see their promoted post because they basically boosted this post. It's, there was a, a labeling that says they're promoted. Uh, they're creating an illusion that a lot of people are, you know, queuing for Marshall at Mall of Asia, which is a lie, all right? That's a lie, okay? And uh, so, yeah, um, I was really, basically, this Ryan David fake account is just creating an illusion that they were there and, you know, uh, but then it's quite obvious because they're, like, promoting an account, which is Marshall Official Store, because, okay, hindi lang Marshall yung promote nila, kundi Power Mac then, okay? We're go We're gonna go there later so something i was able to finish my order just now and um not have to wait blah 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 as a marshall fan i was so excited when hearing that the marshall will will or really expectations i'm not you know i'm not the marshall user i don't have a marshall because it's quite expensive i mean uh i i, I went to bgc to buy you know um a headset and um opted for JB, jbl instead instead of buying like nine thousand worth of headset from marshall so, yeah, so ito na. Uh, P.S. Many of you ask me for the online address, blah, blah, blah. I can answer all of you. I will put the order link here. Kunwari, may nagtatanong. And then, meron yung, ito, paulit-ulit, oh. 242. And then, may mga nagkakomment na, may mga laugh, laughter emojis na. So, basically, paulit-ulit yung pinost. September 17. And then, they're getting a lot of, a lot of, you know, reacts and comments. Yun na nga, itong Apple Watch ko, kala ko lobat lang, pero kahit ilang beses kong i-charge, hindi na talaga. Siguro they're using the video from the real account here, the Apple Watch video. I don't know. I mean, basically, we were able to establish that this is the fake account. So, okay, ang dami na lang na nagoyo. So, a post from September 17 had, has like 900 plus comments. So, paulit-ulit lang, I'm lucky, blah, 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 and they're answering, answering questions from from, you know, curious potential customers, basically. So, ito na, may mga, nandito na yung mga kasama ng trolls. <coughs> ito, lalabas na yung mga trolls dito to support, you know, this account. Kasi, they're creating an illusion that a lot of people are interested and are asking for for more information and may mga nagpo-post din na may mga nabili sila. So, may mga ganun din ako nakita kapon. So, I don't know. Kasi, iba yung view sa cellphone saka sa, sa PC or Mac for, or desktop for some reason. I'm trying to 
get all comments. Pero uh, hindi ko makita yung mga ibang comments dito. So, ayan, we were able to establish that. Then I did a bit of research. Again, kasi lumabas itong SM Mall of Asia for some reason. Ito na itong SM Mall of Asia. Kung bakit sila connected. Alright, so, ito. SM Mall of Asia, official apology to Filipinos. Okay, ito naman, ang dami. So, so I search, <coughs> I'm sorry, nasumita ako. SM Mall of Asia apology. Sinurch ko yan sa Facebook. SM Mall of Asia apology. Para makita kong maraming nagpost. Yun yung tactic na gamitin nyo, ha? Kung may nakita ko yung parang dubious na parang parang marketing message or tinatawag na copywriting or marketing message or call-out message uh, official apology to Filipinos, blah, blah, blah. Research nyo yun. Kung may makita ko yung mga, mga maraming mga uh, same posts from different people, medyo magtaka na kayo. And that's what I did here. So, ito naman, ang dami na ng product. So, ibig sabihin yung itong scam na to, marami silang product. So, I will try to explain to you why it's an elaborate scam. Kasi mayroon silang website. They created a website na fake din. Because anyone can create a website that says marshall.com or powermaxcenter.shop. Pero I'm going to show you how to how to know or how to detect that that website is fake. All right? It's, it's a fake website. So ito. Ito, may, ito naman, same, same apology letter, pero ang, ang pinapromote nila, Power Mac. All right? or Apple. So, the super special promotion of the AirPod, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. Uh, makikita mo yung grammar nila. I don't think, sabi ko kanina, muntik na akong nagoyan ito. Sabi ko, oh my God, pareho nito nakita ko kapon kasi it showed on my feet again. Promoted siya. So, nawala nga lang, hindi ko na screen shot. So, nung nawala, sinurge ko na lang. <clears throat> so, sabi ko, I don't think SML of Asia would promote a particular brand like, like, like Power Mac or Marshall. Unless, malaking bayad sa kanila. Pero, hindi lang nagagawin yun. Malimit nilang gagawin unless may, may collab sila. So, yung grammar. So, may mga grammar errors to at glitches. Like, rush, capital R, dapat yan. So, sabi ko, I don't think, you know, SML of Asia would, would issue or publish this kind of grammatically erroneous, <coughs> you know, ad. So, yan. Yan yung, yan yung una. And then, ito naman, Power Mac din. Tapos, um, yung isa, Marshall. Okay, nakita nyo? So, <clears throat> itong nasa mga, nasa taas, Marsh, oh, itong Marshall, nasa taas, Power Mac. Halos pareho, okay, they just change official apology, blah, 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 to Filipinos. Itong Power Mac. Tandaan niyan, Power Mac. And then, dito sa isang post, <laughs> four days ago, Marshall. So, official apology. So, chinese nila into, into, from Power Mac to Marshall. So, ang Power Mac, or Apple, at saka Marshall, are competitors. They're not the same company. Or they're not from the same manufacturer. So, yan. Yan, yan, yung, yan yung isa dyan. So, pag titignan mo, bakit ko nasabi, ito SM Mall of Asia Arena to ah. <coughs> bakit ko nasabi na fake account? Yan, kasi ito yung real account. Ito. SM Mall of Asia Philippines. Pag titignan natin itong SM Mall of Asia Philippines, oh, mali din pala. I mean, fake din pala to. So, ibig sabihin, itong mga to, Oh, official apology. This, hindi natin alam kung itong pit na to, kinuha lang nila just to, just to create an illusion of authenticity or an appearance of authenticity. Pero, let's, okay, andale. Let's check the official page of SM Mall of Asia. Of Asia. Okay, shall we? Um, ito yung official. Mayroon silang 949,000 followers. Nakita niyo yan? So, compare dito, kasi ang dami nang nakrate na kap. As a mall of Asia, one follower. Samantalang itong nag-share nag ng Marshall as a mall of Asia arena, <clears throat> mayroon lang siyang 23 followers. Titingnan natin kung magkakapareho yung followers nito. Oh, makikita ba? Paano makita? Hindi makita yung followers eh. Yung likes. Hindi rin makita. So, sana kung makita yung, yung followers is unavailable daw. Ayun nila, pakita kasi trolls lang yung mga yan. So basically, they, they have created dozens of trolls para mag-like lang. So ganun yung tactic nila. So we were able to establish that ito, ito, Mall of Asia arena to ha. Ito naman, Mall of Asia. Tingnan natin kung ilan yung followers nila. <clears throat> so, 21 din. So halos ganun, 20 plus. So, same-same lang yung, yung kanila. Same-same lang yung <clears throat> yung count or number of followers approximately. Dito sa dalawang account, Mall of Asia arena, SM Mall of Asia Arena, and then SM Mall of Asia. Alright. <clears throat> but we're not gonna stop there. Titingnan natin 
itong website. Hindi, hindi pa yan. Titingnan natin yung isa. So, nakita ko yung isang account dito, si yung Chinese. Nasaan si Chinese? Ito ah. Ang dami na lang hawak. SML of Asia, The Loop. The Loop, sa kanila rin yan. The Loop PH, ginaya rin yan. Pag titingnan mo yung, yung number of followers, two followers lang. Pero pare-pareho yung message. The andang tao, yan, they're using, the andang tao, halos, ha, they're using these pictures and then yung message na the andang tao, I mean, nakakalula yung dami ng tao, mga ganun, they're creating an illusion na marami ang nagpupunta. Ito rin, Power Max Center, which is a fake account din kasi yung followers, 12 followers lang. So, ito yung mga picture, random pics lang yan ng mga tao na pumipila sa event, basically. Or, yung latest, the real picture ng, ng mga Apple customers na pumila para sa 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 latest Apple gadget, yung iPhone, di ba? So, ayan, ayan. So, sabi ko, medyo mahaba ba ito kasi kailangan natin pakita ng detalye kung paano nila ginagawa ito. Ito, si Mr. Ben Lu. Alright? Exactly, switch, CEO daw siya. Hindi natin alam kung they're using a picture of of another person kasi kawawa naman yung taong to kung pagbintangan natin pero itong picture pala na to eh, hindi siya, di ba? CEO daw siya ng switch. And then, same then One follower lang. Okay. So, yep. We're able to establish the fact that first, they're using or mimicking uh, real accounts and creating dummy or fake accounts. Hindi lang yung mga tao kagaya ng mga influencers with thousands of followers kundi yung mga establishments like SM at yung product nila gumagawa din sila ng fake account kagaya ng Marshall at Marshall at at Apple. So, titingnan natin ngayon kung totoo ba yung mga website na yun at paano malalaman na fake yung website. Because like I said, anybody can create a fake Facebook account or page. But then, anybody could also create a fake website. Talagang gumagasto sila kasi mahal mag-create ng website. Mag, you know, matrabaho kasi I have webs, I have a website as well. So, if you're gonna, for example, so using WordPress, if you're gonna create a business account or premium account, kakasos ka ng mga 10,000 to 30,000 pesos. Ganun yun. So, 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 they're basically pouring money into this scam to fool people. So, check natin tong Power Mac. Paunayin natin tong Power Mac website. So, mukhang totoo, di ba? So, mukhang totoo because anyone can, you know, copy-paste lang yan. So, copy-paste mo lang sa, copy mo lang sa real account ng, ng Mac or Apple.com and then dito sa fake na to. So, kung titignan mo, mukhang totoo, di ba? Mukhang totoo. Ito yung, naka-cellphone kung pa siya view, hindi desktop, which is sketchy, di ba? Kasi, hindi ganyan ang, ang website ng Power Mac. So, if we're gonna, ito yung Power Mac official website. Alright? Ito yung lalabas ka agad. Kasi naka-SEO sila. So, ganito yung real account ng Power Mac. Okay? So, don't be fooled. Naka-desktop view siya. Matic, matic yan. Samantalang, itong fake Power Mac shop daw, Power Mac Center shop, ay naka-cellphone or mobile view. Now, Check natin sa whois.com. So, itong, itong mga marunong sa website. My, my website, sa so, mga techie, my website na whois.com. So, go to whois.com, w-h-o-i-s.com, and then, ito yung company, yung nakaregister na name ng company, GMO Internet Inc. O, oh, yan pa lang. Yan pa lang, iba na. So, kung i-check natin yung referral, referral URL, ito yun, no? Chinese, Chinese ba to? Yeah, this is a Chinese website. Doon pupunta. Yan yung nagpa-register. Okay, GMO. So, hindi yan yung totoong website ng Power Mac. I-check natin yung totoong website naman. Okay? PowerMacCenter.com. Yan. Yan yung mayari. See? Okay. Nakita nyo na kung ano yung totoo at tama. At paano malalaman. So, check natin naman yung Marshall. Alright? Okay. Dito tayo sa Marshall Shop. So, Dami na ko sing browser. Oh, same view. I mean, naka-mobile view siya. ba? So, um, let's compare. Kasi, ano nga ba yung kanina? Yung, yung fake. Kung pareho lang. Oh, marshall-shop.com Pero, ang registrar, Matt Bau. Matt Bau Corporation. Okay? Which is, hindi yan yung totoo. So, pag titignan natin yung totoo, na website, official website of Marshall, agad-agad, yan yung lalabas kasi gumagasto sila sa, ng SAO para lang dyan, para safe sila, di ba? Para madali silang mahanap, para yung authenticity ba? Alright, so, check naman natin itong Marshall, na totoong Marshall, yung real, authentic Marshall. Kasi, 
yung marshall-shop.com. Yan yung fake, di ba? Na nag-registrar Matt Bow Corporation. So, uh, let's look at it, Matt, uh, Matt Bow later. So, yung totoong Marshall, marshall.com, di ba? Safe names that, uh, safe names limited. Yun yung, yun yung may-ari. Nag-register. Blah, blah, blah. Alright? So, doon mo makita. So, saan ito naka-register? Sa UK. Country. Um, city. Makita mo lahat dyan yung information. Alright? So, samantalang yung fake, Matt Bow, sa China lang yan. So, street, ah, Vietnam. When, Nguyen, or when, when ang pronunciation yan eh. So, ito yun oh. Makita mo yung Gmail, blah, blah, blah. So, ano man, ano tong Matt Bow na to? Matt Bow Corporation. Ito yung Matt Bow Corporation, no? So, ito pala yung salarin ng mga scam na to. So, dito, ito yung nag-register doon. Ah, Vietnam. Yung isa Chinese, yung isa naman Vietnam. Alright? So, huwag kayong pag-uyo kasi ang daming, ang daming likes. <coughs> Nakakatakot, di ba? Kasi, I mean, pag, pag pupuntan mo yan, gets mo, yung, pag i-click mo yung link nila, okay? Sabi na, i-click mo yung link nila, may ordering system. Okay, so yan, buy now. Buy now. Pag klinik mo yan, yan o, buy now ka agad. O yan o, cash on delivery, full name, blah blah blah, address, finish order, and then ilalagay mo yung credit card mo, ayoko na i-click. Ayoko na ituloy kasi, you know, baka ma tuloy-tuloy pa, di ba? So, ang dami. Tapos, yung isa, ginagamit niya yung, yung kanil Vice Ganda, yun o. Ito yung, ito rin o. Si Vice Ganda, hindi siya, hindi siya endorser ng Marshall. Alright? She does not endorse Marshall. So, that's another red flags. Ang daming red flags, okay? So, dito, see? Sale, blah, blah, blah. Napaka, I mean, too good to be true yung amount, which is like, instead of 6,669, naging 1,999 na lang. Yung isa, yung Willen, Uh, na 8,499, naging 1,699 na lang. Da, see, I mean, pag i-click mo yan, yan yung, kanila, yun yung, hindi yan clickable, pero ito yung mga clickable para umorder. So, out of stock na daw to. So, ibig sabihin, may mga umorder. So, ma marahil meron silang, meron silang product, pero fake. Gets nyo? Fake product. Kasi ang daming magiganda, punta ka lang sa Lazada, okay? Pag punta mo sa Lazada, click mo yung Marshall, Lazada. Kasi chinek ko rin to kapon eh. Marshall, Uh, headset. Headset. Okay. Headset. Okay. Oh, ito, ito yung mga genuine daw. May mga, may mga 1,299. Baka sila talagang real o totoo, pero fake sila kasi ang galing ng mga Chinese manufacturers sa gumaya talaga. Yung mga OEM na tinatawag na, I don't know if OEM concept is real or it, it exists in real life, pero fake pa rin siya. Kahit sabi nalang OEM or, or ano yon yung Class A or replica, Iisa lang yan, fake yan, okay? Or surplus, etc. Ang dami lang mga terms na ginagamit para manggoyo ng tao, just to fool the public, alright? The unsuspecting public. So, yan. May mga Steph, Steph, Stephen Reyes order, blah, blah, blah. May mga lumalabas ako ako eh. So, yan. Ingat-ingat lang mga kandetisens kasi ang daming mga ako ngayon, ang daming mga pakulo, ang daming mga ways to scam people, they create uh, fake accounts, ginagaya nila yung mga real accounts. Kawawa naman yung isa na nagaya ng account na si yung ito, David Rai, na may 14,000 followers. Kung, I mean, I don't think na, you know, gagawa siya ng iba niyang account na fake para lang, I don't know, I mean, kung may account ka, ba't di mo gamitin yung kawawa sila? I mean, di ba? So, ito yung fake account again, 46 followers. So, ingat-ingat lang, wag pagoyo kasi ang daming, ito naman, na-expose na sila kasi may mga, makikita mo ang daming mga laughter's emoji na, hindi ko lang mabasa, I mean, iba kasi yung view sa cellphone, I mean, sa, sa laptop kesa sa cellphone pag check natin. Uh, usually, pag newest yan, ayaw, ayaw na niya magpakita kasi siguro na, nalaman na na, 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 na you know, na teglo na sila. So, ayaw na lang pakita yung mga comments sa ibang tao. So, yan yun. So, I mean, meron isa, yung SM account naman na sabi ng mga tao, i-report yan. Okay? Let me show you one. One, ito. Ito ate yun. Ah, hindi. Ang dami nagla-likes pa dito, di ba? Nakatakot kasi, I mean, ang galing nilang manggoyo, they spend a lot of money and resources and time just to fool the public. Ito, may mga laughter's emoji na. Itong complex. Check natin yan kung, kung makikita natin yung mga ibang comments. Hindi, ayun o. One, ito, kagaya nito, may mga testimonies kung mara sila, troll. Buti may mga nag-laughter dyan. O, oh, diba? So, <coughs> so, pag titignan natin si Airy Bear, isa, isa siguro to sa mga, sa mga fake trolls, mga trolls dito, na ginawa nila. Kasi, you know, meron akong ah, kilala na nagsabi sa akin na may mga 
kunwari companies, o companies, sabi natin companies or businesses, that they create troll accounts for marketing purposes. At, sa, at election din. Pagdating sa election, yan din yung isang business nila. Thousands and thousands of troll accounts. Okay? Tinatawag na troll farms. Business yan, negosyo yan ng ibang mga tao para... Kasi labanan to ng what? Sci war. I mean, this is all about sci war. It's not just during elections or for politics, pero sa marketing din because marketing is all about sci war. It's all about propaganda because kasi diyan galing yung term na propaganda sa marketing, di ba? Para ma- makagoyo ng mga tao para kasi it's all about money. So, you know. So, check natin. Ang dami nilang nagugoyo mga tao. Nasaan na ba yung isa? Okay, so yan. Uh, is th- this is is this a hoax post sabi ni si Crazy? Naglilipa, naglipa na naman sila. So, may mga tao na alam na rin, di ba, kung paano. Kapag, kapag di ka kasi nakabili niyan, matatanggal ka sa circle ng mga alta. <laughs> so, may mga naninumala, eh, may kate, ganun, ganun. Pure bulls ba to? May mga suspicious din, di ba? Suspicious. It's really good. Itong mga to, oh, may mga 1,000, ad lang, ad, 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 ad lang ad sila ng friends para makakuha ng 1,000 friends, di ba? Ayan yun na yan. Uh, tanga lang naman naluloko. So, wag magpaloko, yun lang yung message don't get fooled don't be gullible all right buyer and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and have a good one to all of you